cool. Okay, which you yeah. really didn't need today. It that actually was so somewhat nice. comfortable. It very good today. It, it did. wasn't brutally job, hot. The Chris. humidity hasn't been bad. And we may have a cold front on our horizon. We'll talk more about that in a moment. We said under cloudy skies, didn't really see a whole lot of rainfall. Radar has been fairly quiet. That will likely change in the coming days. Still have this pattern of this southwesterly flow keeping us under mostly cloudy skies, and that is why we did not warm up very much at all today. 85, considering our average high is 90. Not a bad day today. And again, really didn't see much rainfall. It was just the persistent cloud cover that kept us a little milder. And humidity has not been horrible. It could be a whole lot worse. Dew points in the 70s, yes, that is a muggy atmosphere, but more manageable where it's just not excessively so. Temperatures still in the low mid 80s across the area. No one getting near 90 degrees. Now our rain chances will start increasing again. Today was a rather dry day. It does look like we're going to start to see a little more instability in the area to increase those rain chances. However, over the coming days, the rainfall totals look to be on the low side. I also mentioned that cold front. We'll talk about that as well as no threats from the tropics. So here's what's going on. We have this upper troughing pattern, which we find ourselves on the eastern side of. That is drawing all of the moisture, rainfall, and cloud cover with it. Now, thankfully, we have not really seen a whole lot of rain over the last couple of days. We've been fairly dry. However, as this upper troughing becomes more of just a cutoff low, that is going to kind of isolate more of the instability around us and increase those rain chances. By the end of the weekend, that low starts to weaken. Weekend, upper troughing is going to send a cold front on through and this upper trough does look to be more like the ones we would see later in the fall months. The trough itself is going to bring down some drier air now not dramatically so, but dew points in the 50s to low 60s. This will be a better feel as we head toward the middle or really more early to mid part of next week. So maybe not the fall like feel you were hoping on. It is still early to mid September when this front moves through, but boy, dew points in the 50s to low 60s will feel a whole lot nicer. Other interesting thing is with this upper low, we have dry air. So dry air is also going to be mixing in, not really at the surface per se. It's more in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. So that's really going to limit the heavy rainfall total. So while those rainfall uh, coverage numbers will be increasing into the weekend, tapering off as we get toward early next week, rainfall totals are not looking very impressive. This is the seven day total half inch to maybe three quarters of an inch, a quarter of an inch to maybe an inch and a half. And that over the next several days, we can more than handle. So I don't think flooding is going to be an issue at all for the coming days. Tomorrow rain chances picking up to about a 40% or give me 50% chance. And that should say Thursday we will start to see a bit more rain coverage as we have around 50 to 60% variety. Eye on the tropics. Good news is with two name systems, neither of them posing a threat to the United States or land for that matter. That doesn't mean we don't see the higher wave action, but certainly nothing that would indicate a direct uh, landfall from this storm. Neither are we expecting anything from the little wave that may be trying to develop out in the central Atlantic. This one does look like it's going to kind of follow right behind Earl in the coming days, so staying out over the open water. And that other little wave that tries to emerge off of Africa right now, only the Euro picking up on it. And even those models are kind of keeping it fairly weak or maybe even ripping it apart in the coming days. So it looks like we'll be approaching the peak of hurricane season rather quiet. Let's keep that trend going. Next couple of days, a little bit wetter with rain chances increasing. And then, as I said, it looks like by about Tuesday, we get a cold front to move through. Sound of that.